Hello everybody, this is Jacob from Wager Me This. As you guys can see, I have a thousand dollar bankroll here. Four blacks, 500 in green, 100 in red. I'm going to be playing a little bit of the six, seven, eight. Um, but uh, I'm going to playing it full wager. Uh, you ever seen that commercial with the Mannings, the full Caesar, going full Caesar? <clears throat> well, we're going to go full wager today. This is going to be exactly what I do, when I do it, why I do it, how I do it. I'm going to try to shoot the dice the way I shoot them. Everything I'm going to do is going to be uh, consistent with what you'll see from me at the table. I'm going to make table reads, um, so on and so forth. So the goal of the video is 20%. So I'm trying to win $200. All right, these are the things I do in real life at the casino. This would be my goal. All right, here we go. Sometimes I play the 11, sometimes I don't. I'm gonna start off by not, but if I hit a bunch of 11s, I will. Here we go, stick left one. And there's a three on the come out. One, two, three. Exactly what we were shooting for with our one, two, one, three set. Um, it's going to be a short video if I roll another one. So I'd have made 200 bucks. Now I'm also going to talk about what I would do if I won two in a row. Would I leave? No. I'm not going to throw the dice twice and leave. Um, but what I would do is I would take and play a round of 96 across. So if that happens, we'll see. Oh, we did it. One, two, three. All right, so we've made our 20%, we're going home. $200, up 200 already. All right, um, so what I would do is, uh, since I have a free $100 out there, I would let this ride, I would shoot the dice to get a don't point, and then I would play the equivalent of 96 across because it's essentially a free play. So hopefully we hit this a few more times, but that's what I would do, and that's what I will do um, in this situation. And we got an eight, okay, six, two, eight. That was a really great start. I would be super thrilled if that was my start, obviously. Two come out winners in a row, and then no, no loser, we got an eight. All right, and like I said, you could the 96 across, or you could go to the iron cross here, whatever you want to do. But uh, with the free, this is a free don't bet, so I'm gonna play 96 across. And by 96 across, I mean leave off the eight, but that's $15 on each, and then 18 on the six. To change and why would I do this guys I would do this because this is a free roll so this is a free roll play right I can't lose the 96 on the board I can only hit that don't point that's the only thing that can hurt me and if that happens that's fine I'm just even I can just pull all my money down I'm still even I've won you know uh, actually I'll I'll have I'll be up still at that point so this is like a free roll situation all right, so am I going to try to dodge the eight? Absolutely. But am I going to worry about what's going on? No, because I'm playing for free on this shot. And there's a nine, five, four. So we're going to be aggressive and everything on this one because there's no reason to not be. It's a free roll, $21. We'll press the four and the five. Now, by aggressive, I'm still going to collect some money, but I'm going to press every roll, every hit, and press something. Because, again, this is a free roll, so no matter what happens here, I'm a winner. And seven out. Okay, perfect. We'll take it. We didn't get knocked off. All we did, we've only won. That's it. We've only won. We have not had a loser yet. All right. Seventy five there. 
So there's our hundred dollar win. Very nice. Our shot's over. All right. So well, obviously we're gonna have to play with um, a random shooter or someone else, right? So I'm gonna take this down to fifty. And I'm just going to grab these dice and chunk them against the wall. It's not my shot no more. All right, like I said, guys, I'm going to do this like I would be at the casino. At this point, though, guys, I would seriously consider making this my last shooter or maybe the next shooter my last shooter because I've, I'm at my goal. I got 600 in black, 7, 8, 9, 1,000. We're $1,000 right there, right? So I'm up everything green, white, and red up here. So it's like 175. So, you know, we're up. There's not a lot of reason to keep fighting this fight. Anyways, but we'll see what happens here. And we got a nine, five, four. All right, cool. We got $50 uh, sitting right there. So I'm actually, because the profitable, I'm gonna go, uh, 30 on the 6, 30 on the 8. I'm going to put 30 in odds. All right, so that's roughly the same thing. Now I'm just going to shoot them. See, I'm still up what's in the board there. And there's the 8. Perfect. Perfect. That's going $35. At this point, I'm just going to collect this first one. And then I'll half press the way out, spread out to the other numbers if I can get going. I gotta hit a six or an eight, you know. Oh, and we got knocked off. So good thing we collected that first one, you know. All right, I, I will allow a random shooter to beat me twice. Um, it does happen. Um, so we're gonna go 50 again. And then decide, remember, we're all in profit. So this is still just a profit roll. And a seven. Okay, so this random shooter has beat me for a hundred dollars. I'm not going to let them beat me for no more. All right. Um, again, like I said, we're still up. Roughly 100, 130 bucks. All right. Um, so this is a random guy. He's just knocked me off twice. A lot of times I'll just sit this whole shooter out. All right. But maybe in this case. Because this is only our second shooter, um, I'll just wait until he makes a point. I'll play a minimum bet six and eight and just see where it goes. All right. So random shooter, let's see if he makes him a point. He does, makes an eight. Perfect. All right. Um, I need to get five more white chips. And we're just going to play... The six and eight. For 18. Most of the tables I play at are $15 tables. And I'm just going to write this out, guys. I don't want to go out of profit. Uh, especially not on if it's not my my shot, you know. If it's someone else's shot, I'm not looking to, to gut, not be profitable. And there's a five. The first roll is a three there. Then a five. Three deuce five. And we got a seven. Okay, so... Um, I've done nothing but lose on this shooter, uh, so that's not good. But that's why we didn't invest too much. Um, we're still profitable. Uh, we're still up about a hundred bucks. This is why you leave when you make your profit goal. It's a clear example. But we're still up. We're still doing fine. Obviously, let's put a hundred on the dome. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're going to play like another random shooter, all right? I'm going to move these away around, guys. We know we're profitable at this point. The way I got them situated how I like. $50 again. Here we go. I'm going to go three randoms and then go back to my shot. See what happens here. Ten, nice. Six and a four. Okay. On that ten... I would definitely be willing to go the 36 and 8. And then put some odds. Probably go 50 in odds. Alright, hopefully he doesn't hit that 10. 
Yo, Levin. Rolled off the tan. That was nice. It got scary for a second. Yo, Levin. And a five. Three, two, five. So again, we're looking for our profit goal for sure now. Third shooter. There's back-to-back -back fives. Third shooter, we're... Uh, We've already been to our profit goal. We're up a little bit. We'd definitely be looking to go on and get our money and get off the table. And there's a four. Yeah. And a five. That's the third five. All right. That's kind of crazy. Oh, ouch. So now we're back to even. Just We're just not getting random shooters crushing us. Just absolutely destroyed us. All right, um, like I said, I'll go back up one time. I let him beat me twice. Hard eight, two fours. That five's been hot. I'm gonna go 30 in odds. See if we can get something. We can get a hit. There's a nine, we'll play the field and play our cross. We need a hit first. Seven, we did not get a hit. But at least that part of the shot, we didn't lose money. We just, uh, we only made a little bit. Now, overall on the shooter, we got our butts kicked. Again, so one more random shooter, then we'll go back to us. So all of our profit, we've lost back. But now we made our profit on our shot, and we've lost it back on these other shots. So there's definitely an argument to just not play on the other shooters. That's definitely a valid argument. Now, if you're holding down stick left one, you're not playing on the other shooters. People sometimes get argued. You know, they get aggravated with that sometimes. I don't care. Five one, it's gonna be a six. I'm gonna be able to play the iron cross here. Let's go 30 odds. I know it's gonna be off a little bit and we'll need this first one to win. Uh, pretty much, but if the seven rolls here, we will win. We'll win five bucks. But I would really like this first roll to win. And there's a five that'll work. It's gonna lose the field, but win thirty-five. We'll put that field back. Back that up. Now we're in good shape. There's a three. It's a nice field win right there. And win 15 bucks. Go and pick up the four. Five. Okay, nice. Four, one, five. It's going to win 35 again. We're going to lose the field. I'm not pressing all the way here, guys, because I'm playing at such a low level. It's a random shooter. This is how I play on the random shooters. I use the field wins to spread out and stuff. And there's the eight, the hard eight. And I generally try to collect the box numbers. All right, $35 winner, lose the field. Replace it. So we're racking 20 bucks each, five and eight, not bad. Done pretty well on the shooter. And seven, okay, that'll work. We'll take that all day long. Exactly how that played out, we'll take that all day long. It's gonna win like that on the seven. Puck's going to come down. That was a good one. We made some money there. All right. Now it's back to our shot. I would count up first. If I didn't already have my ship situated to know what I had, I would count up. So I have 600, 7, 8, 950. So I'm up almost 100 bucks. Not bad. I would be very comfortable with it. Up almost a hundred. Here we go. Let's shoot the one, two, one, three. Let's try to get some winners. And here I would definitely be searching for my profit goal. Once I hit it, I would be done. Here we go. Eight, five, three. Okay. Five, three, eight. This so is going to put us into the iron cross, but the full size iron cross because. Uh, we got the $100 on the don't. 
and, and and we'll do it uh we'll play it in the pressing fashion all that kind of stuff so what we have is seventy dollars versus a hundred dollars we don't have to add odds here we don't have to it just depends on how valuable you want your set that's all up to you hard eight uh sorry not hard eight Full one four four one is how i try to miss eights um guys again dice control is all directed to the person all right it's different for everybody 415 it's going to win 35 dollars lose the field and replace the field i like to rack the first hit no matter what now from here we're going to start half pressing or spreading out or something we're going to uh invest in the game and there's the six four deuce now remember on the shooters i collect those guys that was a six i mean it's the same thing either way there um i collect those but when i'm when i'm shooting i trust myself so i'm going to spread out all right replace our field and i'm going to pick up the four rack five bucks all right let's see if we can get some more winners Here we go. Seven out. That's fine. We'll take it. I know it's our shot and whatever, and it sucks because we're going to have to go through randoms, but it's a winner. I'll just get 50 more here. It's a winner. Bam. All right. So now we would be back to random shooter. Definitely would count my money. Still have 600 black. Seven. Hold on. Seven. Eight. Nine. If you count that thousand. So we're definitely up over $100. I would definitely be looking just to make a couple hits and get out of this game on this random shooter hopefully he doesn't get me uh knock me off on the come out here see what happens five okay take it three dudes we're going to play the iron cross and we're going to do this a little different because i'm so close to the profit goal that i would be um I would be in full collection mode. I'm not going to do anything else. Just collect. I'm going to put 30 in odds. Six. I'm going to win 35. Lose the 15 in the field. Again, remember, it's just full collection mode here. Hopefully we don't hit the five. We're just going to collect it on out. Ten. All right. Field winner. Full collection mode. We're just looking for our 200 bucks. We're going to get out. Yo, Levin. All right, it's going to win 15 bucks. Let's just sit here and make money. So right now we've won 30, uh, 50 bucks so far. We've racked. And there's the nine. So now we've racked $65 after this 15. Let's, uh, let's make sure what we got here. Let's trade this five, five reds in for green so I can keep track over here. So 300, 900, we're really close, really close. Seven out, perfect. Okay, so it's gonna make us decide. This is going to win 20 there, 50 there. All right, perfect. See where we're at. I think we're there. So 600 black, 400 green is 1,000. That's what we started with. Not quite. Oh, yep, we're there.
All right, so we're actually uh, $202 up. <laughs> 202 bucks. Again, guys, we got to that profit goal on the first two shots. I'm not going to leave, obviously, but we, I am going to adjust the way I play. I'm going to play for some different profits. We had one bad shooter in there that smacked us around a little bit and knocked us back down, but we turned right around and made our money back by really doing nothing more than just being consistent and making a couple consistently smart plays, made 200 bucks. That's a 20% profit, guys, in four shooters. We did have it in two rolls, but again, guys, nobody's going to leave after the two rolls, even if they both win. It's just not realistic, so um, this would be far more realistic for me, especially after I lost that profit back and I gained it back. I would be done. I would go do something else, play roulette with my wife or something. I would just take that 200 from that session and be happy. But anyways, um, so this is exactly how I play. Um, obviously, we didn't get to see a lot of uh, table reading and stuff. I only saw one spot in there where I would have had a table read, and I actually would have been wrong uh, unless I just played it for one roll. I would have been right for one roll, but there was back-to-back -back fives. We could have laid the five, played everything else, and then another number there came, and then the five came again. So we, if it was just for one roll like the repeater does, that was a free win. I didn't play it because we were already uh, in the Iron Cross, but definitely could have. But anyways, guys, thank you for your time. This is Jacob from Wager Me This.